Quick question for anyone watching. Have you ever seen this many incandescents in one place? <laughs> I am stocked, folks. I am stocked up on incandescents. Ah, oh, there's so many. 15, 25, 40, 60, 75, 100, 150, 200. And I got some three waves in the mix, too. You know, originally, this just started out as a want to light up my house and get rid of those stupid LEDs in the kitchen, but now it's grown to something similar to a detergent collection. <laughs> I've got some weird bulbs in here too, it's crazy. I've got, I've got clear halogens, incandescent tubes, I've got old school Sylvania lights, I've got 15 watt bulbs, I've got three-way bulbs, I've got some weird candelabra bulbs, I've got some weird candelabra style bulbs with a medium base, I've got short, I've got, um, I've got the A21s, I've got the shorter A21s, 150s, 200s, man, it's a wild mix in here. <laughs> you know, truth be told, this haul wasn't too, too expensive. The most expensive bulbs were the 150s and the 200s. But in like a multiple pack basis, that would have to be these uh, 25 watt bulbs. There's only one place in town that actually sells them. And uh, they kind of charged a little extra for it. That's what I'd buy for a two pack or a four pack of just about anything else. That's kind of what I did buy for just about anything else. These, uh, these weird packs were uh, two dollars a piece I believe so not far off from a dollar or bulb this one was just about the same because it's candelabra and usually those are a little cheaper but everything else here was uh, 350 a pack except these hundred watt bulbs because I found a better place to buy my incandescents my town has a deals and discount store that sells all of these the the 40s, the 60s, the 75s, and 100s for $3 a piece, or for a 4-pack. Usually, I'd get them for $3.50, which is still pretty cheap, but yeah, I just saved 50 cents per pack. And I know that there's four of each, except the 100 watts, because I just went through a pack of 100 watts, and uh, I gotta go get a new one at some point in time, but yeah. So for all you eco-wackos who want me to go LED because they're so much better and so much nicer and they run cool and they never get hot and your AC never has to work as hard and everything is just great peachy, no. I will never go LED. Time for some fire up tests. 15. So nice and calm. This is really just a perfect lamp light, I gotta say. I think it outdoes the 25s and the 40s, in my opinion. 25! There's just something about a 25 watt light bulb. I can't explain. There's just something about it. Anyone who uses these things nose. Here's a weird 25. This is a clear globe type bulb. This one has a really interesting output and you can see like these little lines that are on the side of the bulb. But otherwise it's another really nice 25 watt light bulb. You can also see the you can also see the filament support wire shadow. I always think that's a nice touch of the clears. Here's a classic 40. Damn. Such calm, warm, inviting lighting. Here's an interesting one. This is my incandescent tube.
This is a really, really weird bulb in the way that this really wouldn't be for, for home lighting. This would be for one of those desk lamps with the, with the long flat head that you can turn and it'll change the direction the light's going, if you know what I mean. If you've ever seen one of those, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I really don't know what that type of lamp is called, but yeah. Here's one of those weird 40 watt candelabra based uh, with the medium base clear incandescence that I have. This one's also weird. It really wouldn't be for home lighting. This would be for like a chandelier with with medium base sockets or with a or for a ceiling fan with a medium base sockets. Very interesting bulb. Here's my favorite bulb out of all of these. This is a 40 watt Edison style uh, incandescent with the strung filaments, the really long ones. Ah, that's so cool. I love that. It's so nice. It's so nice. Then you have these LED copycats that want to be this, but they'll never be this because they just suck. Yeah. Here's a classic 60 watt incandescent. Yeah. That's a 60 watt bulb right there. Look how nicely this lights up. The camera does adjust, but in real life, this is... Looking at this, I just think of a 60 watt bulb. This is perfect for lighting up the house. In fact, most of the house is lit up by 60 watt bulbs. So yeah, perfect. Here's a classic 75 watt bulb. These are really nice. Ah, oh, that is nice. The camera's really adjusting now, but... It looks almost the same as the other ones on camera, from what I can tell, but it is really getting bright in here. These are just... These are perfect home lighting. It's really nice, well lit in here. Thanks to the power of the 75 watt bulb. I don't know if the camera picks it out, but you can actually see on the bulb. Yeah, there it is. You can see the support wire, which is really interesting. Here's an old school 75 watt bulb by Sylvania with the old school vertical filaments instead of the horizontal filaments like the rest of the bulbs that I have. There you go. There you fucking go. There's just something about these types of bulbs. I don't know what it is, but... Great. Oh, uh, there we go. The camera's picking it up. You can see it there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. The focus is being a nightmare, I know, but just bear with it. You can see it's a vertical filament. There's something about the quality of the light with these that's just different. I don't know how I can explain it. It's just different. It's so nice. Here's a clear halogen bulb. This is a 100 watt equivalent halogen, but I'm doing this as a 75 because it's a 73 watt bulb, so close enough for me. Ah, yeah, there we go. That is a light bulb. That right there is a light bulb. The camera adjusts. Maybe you can tell by the shadows or looking up there. The camera adjusts and I am not a fan of that, but it is so nice and bright in here now. Ah, man, this is a real bulb. I don't know if I told this story, but I actually used to have two of these, but one of them burnt out because the halogen capsule was left uh, unsealed, so there was a mix of oxygen and the, uh, the whatever gas they use in there, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, whatever they used in there 
um, there was kind of a mix of it so it's it didn't burn out immediately it actually smoked out for a couple minutes and then burnt out completely so that was an interesting one and here's a tried and true 1710 100 watt incandescent yes yes one word yes it's perfect it is perfect everything is just so beautifully lit up the hallway is perfectly lit up all this is perfectly lit up there without the bulb in view you can actually see how bright some of this stuff gets it still is adjusted down but yeah this is true lighting now we're getting into the nice bulbs here's a westinghouse 150 watt clear incandescent um usually i get the ge clear 150s but this was an interesting find in the fact that it's actually a bit shorter than a standard 150 watt if uh if you can't tell but yeah let's get this one fired up Wow! You know, I am just always taken back. Even though I've done this so many times, I'm always just taken back when I turn on a 150 watt incandescent. Ah, the light is so powerful. You can really start to see that everything's popping out a little more. Even though the camera refuses to give you the true scale of how bright this thing is. This thing is, uh, what did it say there? It says, uh, 2,650 lumens. The, uh, GE bulbs are, uh, 2,710 compared to 1,710 for my 100 watts. So that's exactly 1,000 lumens, which is nice. So we're going to pop in one of those next. This is a GE 150 watt clear incandescent that puts out 2710 lumens as I mentioned this bulb lights up all of my uh, Laundry cycle videos that have featured it and I do use it for some other things too around the house that you don't see because I don't record that stuff, but this bulb does have a considerable considerable amount of hours on it and you can actually see that it does have considerable amount of uh, heat scarring on it too so you can tell that this thing has had its hours in here we go you can really see that dramatic clear shadow just before I even fire it up that one really gets me back <laughs> that one really takes me back and it takes me back in time too because I don't know if I've told this story on camera before but the reason 150 watt incandescents will be my favorite incandescents ever no matter what is because you can see how nice and bright that is that's one of the reasons but two is because my grandparents like i said i'm not sure if i've told the story on camera before my grandparents used to light their house with uh, these clear 150 and 200 watt incandescents that ran so many hours a day for just years and years I think some of the older ones were about eight years old by the time we left that house. Those things had so many hours on them, yet they just kept running and running and running. That's something you won't get with LEDs. They'll tell you the last 50 years and then the last 50 weeks if you're lucky. And if you're lucky, you also won't get that goddamn burnt plastic smell that they give you when they burn out. Oh wait, that's CFLs, but you get the idea. LEDs get very hot. Ask me how I know. And they give you the horrible burnt plastic smell that everyone hates. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> That's why these will always be a personal favorite. Even the 200s are actually really nice. Those were not used as much as the 150s, but still, they were really, really nice. And these are really, really nice too. So I'm glad to have these out of all of them. Too bad there's not many sockets that can fit a 150 watt bulb. Ugh. 
Up next, 200 fucking watts. Jesus, what a what a light up that is from you from being used to no light and the dimmer hallway lights that are all 60 watts then going straight to this wow man this thing is so bright ah it's so nice i love these bright lights that i have these pure unadulterated 120 volts 150 and 200 watt incandescents this is, uh, I forget how many lumens this is, uh, there's a bulb right here. It does not say the lumens, but I do have a little paper where I wrote that down because these actually didn't show the lumens on them. <sighs> so bright. You can see that this one has actually bent down a little. There you go, you can see that it actually has bent up a little, or bent down a little, whatever you want to say. because because the heat of the filament just like bends it and when you get that with gravity then it just goes down so if this was mounted base up it would be hanging downwards like it is now but in reality that would be up if you know what I'm saying but yeah overall a really really nice and bright bulb little normal big bigger Look at the size of this fucking 300 watt bulb. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. There is no question as to which of these is the superior incandescent. Look at the fucking size of this thing. This thing is gigantic when you put it up against the rest. Especially this little one. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? This thing is enormous, even on the lamp. Ah, oh, let's fire it up. I really want to fire it up. Yes, I know this was featured in another video, but the thing is I haven't fired it, fired it up since because this is really more of a display object than anything else. But let's do it. Man. I haven't fired this thing up in forever. It's so bright. It's so ridiculously bright. It's... Man, it takes your breath away. It takes your breath away. You've got this warm white light. This bright, pure, real fucking incandescent light. I don't know how else to put it, but it's just so good. It's so good. You don't know what I'm talking about unless you have incandescents like this in your house or incandescents in general for the matter. It's such good light. I can't describe it. It's just perfect quality light. It's bright. It's warm. It's, it's everywhere. It's real incandescent light on a 300 watt bulb. And uh, I'm going to try turning this thing off and see if it does a thing that it does where it actually makes the ends of the support wires glow because this thing gets so hot in operation. Yeah, there it is. You can see it now. Really, really interesting how that does that. That's how hot this thing is. Unbelievable. Anyway, here's some three ways. This is a 3070 100. 30, which is really nice and dim. 70, which is nice and bright. And 100. You know, I never really notice a difference between the second and the third click on a three-way bulb, there's really not too much of a difference for me to speak of. It's just like this minor little thing that you really couldn't tell apart between it being the second click and the third click, but hey, it's pretty decent. And last but not least, here is a 5100-150.
This is a new 5100-150 compared to the one you saw whenever I did my last demonstration. So let's get to it. 50, which is a tad brighter than uh, than the uh, than the 30. It's definitely noticeable. 100, which I felt the heat of that as I turned it on. And 150. Yeah, not much difference. I don't think the camera even picks up the difference. There's not a lot of difference to speak of. You can't see the filaments on this one because they really painted over this bulb, but yeah. That's incandescence, incandescence, and incandescence. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight. Sorry not sorry, tree huggers. LEDs are banned in my house. I will never use one of those stupid things. All I'm ever going to use is real incandescence. So yeah, that's going to wrap this one up. Screw the planet. Keep your incandescence. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.